Hey guys, so one of our best clients just fired us and I wanted to share with you how that happened. Hey guys, so I didn't know if I wanted to publish this video or not, but I will do it because I guess you can gain value out of it. So one of our best clients just canceled our contract. It was a very large project and we put all of our efforts into it. At the beginning of the project, the client asked what they want, they share their requirements, we did the best we could do to deliver the best work we could offer. And then they came back with other requests saying that wasn't what they asked. And then we came back with better work or what we assumed was better work. But the client started getting super aggressive, started insulting us, started being very violent. We were always super chill, super calm, saying, you know, guys, I'm sorry. Here you have a new version, but they started being more and more aggressive until they, they canceled. And this didn't happen only with one client, it happened with all of our clients. With 90% of our clients, it's happening. And no, that didn't happen to us, that happened to one of our best friends. And that friend is ChatGPT, okay? And all AI models. Whenever you use AI models and you get the, bad, the, the wrong response, and you say, you know guys, AI models are so stupid, they are so dumb. How is it possible that they don't answer this question? Most likely the reason why they answer the question in the wrong manner is because you asked the wrong question or you didn't provide enough context. Remember that whenever you are pointing to another person, there is one finger pointing in that direction and all the others are pointing towards you. So in this video, I will show you what separates men from children when you ask things to AI models, when you ask questions to AI models. And what separates men from children are just six aspects that you should put in all your AI prompts if you want to get the right responses each and every time, okay? So the first part is the role. Whenever you are asking an AI model to execute a task, they will give you a much more adjusted response if you tell them the role they are playing. For example, you are a medical doctor, you are an SEO expert, you are a marketing expert. So if you let the AI know the type of role they should impersonate, they will give you a much more relevant response. Then you need to pass the task description. And for this, you need to be as clear as possible, as succinct as possible. Avoid any ambiguity, because if there is any ambiguity, don't complain if the AI goes in a different way, if the AI answers what you didn't want, but with a completely different response. Then the third aspect you should follow, and by the way, there is a template PDF with all the six rules that you should follow if you want to have a good response from an AI, click on the link below so you can download it. But the third aspect you should follow is the output format. And this is very relevant if you are placing this AI model in an automation, like in a Zapier, in a low code automation, where you want to make sure that the output follows a certain format so you can integrate it in your workflow, in your pipeline. So here you should describe, for example, answer starting with an asterisk, one answer, one response, one idea per line, or generate the answer in a table format where you have these three columns with these names, okay? So always write the output format, especially if you are not using this, you, these AIs in their general user interface, both through form of automation. Then the fourth aspect is the negative prompt, what we call the negative prompt, which is what the AI cannot do. Things like, don't say you are an AI model, or your answer should be only based on the information that I am passing you and you do, cannot go outside, outside to the internet or to your knowledge to answer this information. So always tell the AI what they cannot do and use this part of the prompt to correct the mistakes that you have seen. Then the fifth aspect, and for me, guys, this is the most important aspect that you should include in any of your prompt. And this is what truly separates men from children is the external context. Most of the time, AI will give you a generic response because they, they don't know where you are. They don't know your context. They don't know your reality. They don't know what is the specific niche of your business. So try to collect all the relevant data that you know, but the AI doesn't know about you, so you can pass this in the prompt, so you can let them know the AI what differentiates you from the competitors, so you can let the AI know what worked in the past, the benchmark, the results that you got in the past. For example, if you are using an AI to create new content for your social media channels, let the AI know the performance of your past campaigns, what worked, what didn't work, what created clicks, what didn't. If you are using AI to categorize tickets on your customer support, let the AI know 
past classifications, examples, similar examples to the current ticket, so that I can know how you are truly categorizing your tickets. So external context, the real data from your business for me is the most important and the most crucial aspect on any good AI prompt. And in order to do this properly, you must ensure that your processes leave some digital footprint. So your processes generate the data that in the end you will use to feed the AI in the future. And the final part of the prompt is the specifics of this task. The message you are trying to categorize, the content you are trying to generate, the ticket you are trying to prioritize, the final specific task. So remember six parts, the role, the task description, the output format, the negative prompt, the external context, and here's where you have the asteroids. Here's where you have the high differentiation between a general dummy prompt and something that will bring value. And finally, the task specifics, what it has to answer. Remember that there is a bonus PDF with these six rules and a template you can use to improve your prompts. Click on the link below. I hope you like this video. Like, subscribe, and share it with your, with your peers. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.